to our Christmas episode of Junk Food on the Road. Today we are going to talk about... Christmas at Tokyo Disney Resort. That's right. We went to Tokyo Disney before Christmas, but the Christmas celebration was on. It was in full swing. Yeah. I mean, everything was decorated. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of weird. They didn't have any Christmas treats, though, really, per se. I don't know. I'm trying to... No, I didn't. I don't think so, but it was decorated. It was definitely decorated. Yeah. People were in costumes. There were Christmas shows... I think people are in costumes at Tokyo Disney Resort all the time. For Christmas costumes, I mean. I guess, but people were really... I'm talking about the cast members. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, people walking around. No, not the guests. Because people dress up a lot. I don't care about the guests. I don't really look at them. Really? Like, all the people dressed as Duffy and stuff? I look at their clothes a little, but I'm talking about the people. Like like Like, Mickey and... Like Mickey and Minnie and Goofy and Donald. They were definitely dressed up for the holidays. Yeah. And Chris got his uh, debut sticker at Tokyo Disneyland. Yeah. He finally caught up to me on numbers of Disney parks visited. Yeah. So finally, yeah, we're, we're even. Yeah. The universe was out of balance for a while. It's okay now. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. So, treats at Disney. Treats at Disney. So the one thing you, should, you can know about Tokyo Disney is you're going to find very different treats than you find at Disney World or Disneyland in California, I imagine. I, we haven't been to Disneyland in California, but definitely Disney World is sort of more your standard North American treats, whereas Tokyo Disney, you'll find, like, Japanese, Chinese, curries. Yeah, there was really, there was some really fun stuff. Yeah. Like the cat thing that we had. The, 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 the what's the, his name again? The, the cat. Oh, crap. Um, it was Chan, in... Chandu. Yeah, Chandu. Chan, it was a from Chan... Sin, Sinbad's Great Adventure. Which is one of the... Storybook Adventure. Storybook Adventure. Which is right. one of the best rides, underrated rides, probably in it, all of Disney parks. It's a, it's like, it's a, a, a dark water ride. Yeah. Sort of you, like it's a small world. Yeah. And so, but it's, it's just really, you feel triumphant as you leave. And this, it's a really good story. Like, it's, yeah. like, it's a small world. It's sort of like this random sort of tour into places, whereas Sinbad's Adventure is like, there's a story. And if you ride it more than once in one day, the song will stick in your head for weeks afterwards. Forever, I think. Maybe. Compass of your heart. <laughs> Don't even say that. <laughs> oh, now it's in there again. Okay, no. but no. So back to what they have is they have this bun. There's this there's this tiger that Sinbad travels with, and they have a bun that's sort of got little stripes on it and everything like that. And it's a it's a pork bun, I think. Yeah, I think it's a pork bun. It's, it, it it's was, like a curry pan kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it was very good. It's a steamed bun with like pork inside and it's uh and yeah and it's decorated like the cat yeah it's, and it's really cute and fun it wasn't the best tasting treat but i would say it was really fun i would say the one thing you can say about i mean we can talk well we can talk about this more but the one thing you could say about all disney treats uh, you know, at, in, tokyo in, at tokyo disneyland or and tokyo at disney sea all of their treats are instagrammable yeah they're instagrammable and they don't necessarily taste the best that, well, that's, I mean, you could say that about a lot of Instagrammable food. Yeah. Like, like the nowadays. churros were very disappointing. Yeah, they weren't great. They were Mickey-shaped, though. Well, one of them was. One of them was Mickey-shaped, so that was kind of cool. That thing that sort of looked like churros, but yeah, was had, filled had, with, had, like, gooey th- chocolate, that was really good. Yeah, there was, they had this, like, cakey thing that was looked like a churro, but it was... I forget more. what it was called. It had a really weird name. You could get it in curry flavor or chocolate with chocolate inside. Yeah, we got chocolate and chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So Curve. that was in uh, Fantasyland we got that. Yeah, that was really good. That was good. Um, and the, the big thing that people like at the Tokyo Disney Parks is the popcorn. Which we decided to try. Yeah, we tried the chocolate, chocolate popcorn. So I, I, Again, chocolate. I've actually I've actually been, been reading a bit about it, and apparently the two most popular flavors of popcorn and the ones that are really unique to there are the chocolate and the curry. Yeah. The curry smelled like curry. Like it really you'd walk did. by the curry things, and you'd, the curry popcorn things, you'd be like, that... How many flavors do you think they had... They had about eight were, in each park. Yeah. Well, some crossed over. Yeah, like caramel was definitely crossed yeah, over. But there was about, but, I would say between six and eight, maybe. Yeah, I don't even remember all of them. No, no. On the, the cool thing is it's so popular that on the guide maps, there's a little thing on the bottom corner that actually tells you the different flavors of popcorn and where you can get them. Yeah. 
So that's kind of fun. And then people go mad for the buckets. Oh, the buckets are beautiful, though. I mean, they're they are crazy. really good buckets. They're really cool. I mean, they're barely even buckets. They're like toy. They're like hollowed toys that you can put popcorn in. At and that people point. carry them around like little purses. Like, well, they, they have a neck strap. Yeah. Yeah. So you carry, you can carry them around. You get more popcorn. But a lot of kids were carrying like their little tiny, finger-sized uh, Disney dolls in them and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I guess they're that's a good Duffy thing. Little Duffy dolls. I mean, that's that's another thing unrelated to food, but sort of but related. But it's in a popcorn bucket. Yeah. But sort of related to food is, is, is to, like, stuffed toys. You, like, wearable stuffed toys are really popular. Like, we got the little... We even bought the little Chippendale pouches. Yeah, well, you, when you put your ticket inside, In like, a, a plastic pouch, but they make them look like stuffed animals. And there's also a little pocket for, like, I used and to put the camera in there and everything. I put our fast passes. Yeah, yeah. In the but pocket. the cool thing about the um, about those, too, is there's actually... There's a, a hamburger one. Yeah. And they have a hamburger purse that's, like, a Mickey Mouse hamburger. And you can actually get that hamburger someplace, apparently, that has little ears. We saw the hamburger somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. It was like... Yeah, like it was Mickey in... Mouse head hamburgers. Yeah. So that, that it's, it's, it's really... Which we did not eat. The other one, I, I, I remember now that I'm thinking about the mochi. The Star Wars mochi. Well, that was really good. So they have it in... It's only in the future world. It's near the Star Wars ride. Star uh, Tours. Star Tours. They have a, um, a mochi. Mo- and mochi, if you don't know what mochi is, it's basically pounded rice like pounded glutinous rice that sort of gets formed into like a little um, smushy rice ball. Yeah. Like, like, like a completely, pillow completely smooth. Like there's no, there's no rice mealiness in it at no, all. It's, it's just it's, like, it's like a, a pasty smooth pasty marshmallow paste. thing. Yes, almost. it's rice paste. And so, but, and then, and then these ones are filled with strawberry, chocolate, and was there vanilla as well? Caramel Ca- cream. Caramel cream. And uh, they're white and, and they're, you get two white ones. Or three white. It might have been three white. It was two white ones and a black one. Two white ones and a black. So two storm and they had little stormtrooper faces on. And them. the black one had Darth, Darth Vader. Vader. And so that was like really cool. Yeah. So the Darth Vader one was black mochi with chocolate. Yeah. And the two stormtroopers, one was strawberry and one was uh, caramel cream. Yeah. Caramel custard or something. They were good. They were really good. I. That's probably some of the best mochi I've ever eaten. Yeah. We also got the um the melon bun that would look like Jack Skellington. Yeah. That it didn't taste good, but it looked really, really cool. It was, like, melon bun doesn't usually really taste like melons, but this one really, I felt like I was eating a baked cantaloupe. Yeah, it, it was kind of gross, but it was neat looking. Yeah. They have a lot of bakeries in a lot of places. Like, there's a good bakery, there's another bakery, there's one sort of at the front, there's at, a, at both parks. There's a bakery at both parks, because we went to both bakeries. We went yeah. to the one at, at Disneyland, and then we went we to got, the one at Disney City as well. We got that little chocolate court. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the, I mean, the bakery stuff there is generally good. It's very pretty. Yeah. It's they, all... they had that raspberry special surprise thing and you can get commemorative plates and stuff often with baked goods. Yeah. Like they're very much into selling you. Upselling you dishes. Like dishes. <laughs> <laughs> like there's always a mug or a cup or a plate. And the, the thing you could know, you should know is generally all the prices on the menus have it with the plate, but you can get it not the plate. If you don't want the plate, it's actually cheaper. Yeah. So that's good to know. Like, I sort of thought, they're like, oh, do you want the plate? I'm like, well, I mean, if we're paying for it, I've yeah, sure. But then they're like, oh, it's cheaper without it. It's like, well, then no, I don't want the plate. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do with the plate? Because you're going to be carrying, well, I guess cool. if you have a popcorn bucket, you have a place to put it. Yeah. Well, the pop, the, can I go back to the popcorn buckets just okay. for a second? Popcorn buckets, they have special limited edition ones that, like, people, like, go crazy about collecting. And the, the different um, flavors of popcorn stands had different popcorn buckets. Yeah. So if you got, like, the butter caramel flavored popcorn, you'd get, like... Steamboat Willy bucket. Yeah, like, it was just... There was there were different buckets. Yeah, basically, it's different buckets of different stalls, and they all have different flavors. And in some of the souvenir shops, you could buy just the buckets. Yeah, and refills for buckets are cheaper than buying popcorn on its own. Sort of. So it was a lot cheaper. The refill was. You can get it without the bucket for less, but a refill is even cheaper. I think the refill was 500 yen, but you get about three or four times as much as if you just get it in a paper thing, mm. which was like 300 yen. Okay. But, yeah. We just got a paper thing. We didn't get a bucket because, quite frankly, we have enough stuff. Yeah. We, and I didn't feel like... The only thing we did get was the little pouchy things with the Chip, with Chip and Dale heads. Yeah. And we decided to get Chip and Dale because, like, yeah, we were together yeah. as a couple, so... 
But we learned that um, none of the cast members at Disney Resort knew the Chip and Dale song. Yeah. So whenever we sang it for them, they'd be like, wow, that's amazing. And it's like, did you write that? It's from And you'd say, yes, show. yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> But so let's let's talk about our meals, and we're gonna exclude breakfast because we weren't staying at a Disney resort. We we're staying at one of the hotels outside, and the breakfast kind of sucks. Yeah, it was on the property, and yeah, no. I mean, it was a room, but it wasn't great. It was not great. Um, they, but, I think they refurbished it sometime in the '60s. Yeah, probably. But 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 we could forget about that resort because that yeah. isn't really part yeah, of it. Yeah, but we had lunch and dinner at the parks. Yeah, so okay. I'm trying to think of what we had. I don't remember all the meals. I remember we went to our favorite New York cafe, and it actually was better this time. Yeah, it was. There were like there were probably about three or four layers of meat in the pastrami sandwich. Yeah, we got a couple sort instead of instead of one. Yeah, we we've been to the we've been to Tokyo Disney Sea before, and we got the the deli sandwiches there once before, and. Uh, the meat was pathetically low. It was just like one thin slice of meat. And this time, they gave you like three or four thin slices of meat. And so it was a little bit better. We went to the Blue Bayou, which was fantastic. Yes. It's in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Yeah. So the boats actually go by you while you're eating dinner. And we got a seat right at the side so we could watch the boats go by all Yeah. Night. It was like we had a we had waterfront table. Yeah. It was really nice. And right the f- by where the, the fake fireflies are. Oh yeah, there was like little fake fireflies. It was really nice. I yeah. really enjoyed. It was it was like you were. I mean, it was very close. You get the feeling. I mean, obviously, it didn't feel like you were actually in the bayou because you weren't getting stung by bugs or anything like that. You, yeah. It sort of like had that feeling, and it was all dark. So during the day, it was kind of nice, and then uh, the food was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't cheap, but you felt like you were special. Yeah, they really served you well. Yeah. And, you know, and Allison was doing sort of low carb and... and no fish. And no fish. And they were very good about making sure everything was just right. Like, they had this, a person come over that made sure that, you know, they understood. And, you know, they took the order and the, 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 the cooks made some changes. and. Yeah, they were amazing. So that was good. I would say, like, the one place, if you're going to go to Tokyo, I mean, if you're spending a fortune going there already... If you could spend a little extra and go to Blue Bayou, you will not be disappointed. Get a reservation. Yeah. One of the tricks you can do is go there in the morning and get a reservation for lunchtime and get there like soon, like almost treat it like a fast They open up for reservations at 11, I think. Yeah. So get there at like 11. Or 10. Maybe it was 10. Maybe 10. Yeah. Check. It says, I think it says on the website or on their, uh, but you can just go up to, go up to it and get a reservation. You don't have to like book it anywhere else. I think if you're at a Disney hotel, you can book it there too. Oh, Maybe. But uh, it get- and, and it's like they, they do it on a sort of best efforts basis, but we asked for a waterside table and our reservation time was a certain time. And I think we were in within 15 or 20 minutes of that. Yeah, it was probably about 20 minutes. And there were people in the lineup that had looked like they'd been standing there for a long time before we got there. And basically we saw them get seated as we were leaving. Yeah. The, the actual lineup itself, like if you don't get a reservation, you will be waiting a long time. Like. We were leaving by the time we saw the people in line. I just line. said that. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, for sure. Reservation for that. I'm trying to remember what else, if we had any other food while we were there. We, we had meals, obviously. We had meals. I'm trying to, oh, nothing really comes, sticks out to me that much. We had pizza one time. Actually, what we did was we went to two separate pizza places and had different kinds of pizza for dinner. Like we shared a, a pizza at one place and then we went and shared another pizza at another place. Yeah. Cause like they're, they're not all the same. Like you get different pizzas at the different pizzerias in the same park. That's the one thing actually I'll say about the parks in general, the food wise is it's very different. Like it feels like each restaurant is different. Yeah. Like it doesn't feel like you're getting it from the same kitchen. No. And that's good. Yeah. It was really good. I really like that. And, uh, you know, and I mean, there's a million snacks and they apparently rotate all the time. So stuff we're talking about might not even be there anymore. Yeah. I mean, Blue Bayou is obviously going to be there. So, but the menu changes apparently all the time. I'm yeah. having a hard time remembering where else we ate. We ate a lot of snacks. We did do a lot of snacking. What we, what we tend to do is buy one thing and share it so that we both sort of get to maximize the number of snacks that we try. Yeah. Actually, if you go to our, our, our Twitter or Facebook and, and sort of go back to when we were at Disney, I just took a picture of every snack we took, we bought. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There was that purple thing with the magical churro in it that you oh, bought. Oh, yeah. The, it was the a Rocket, Rocket Raccoons has this, um, it's, 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 it's an ice, it's a soft serve 
ice cream yogurt parfait thing with a purple churro, and it has like well it has layers, so that's why it's parfait. Oh, was it? Yeah. I didn't. And so and it's got like it's got like cornflakes in it, and it's got like strawberry sauce, and it's got a churro that tasted really good. That was the best. That was the only churro that tasted actually pretty good. Like we tried the chocolate one with like the white stuffing inside, and it was still like that wasn't uh, there. Oh really? No. Um, The Oreo churro. No, the Oreo churro was in Canada. I thought there was white stuff inside. No, yeah. I guess it was just an empty chocolate yeah. churro. Yeah, we got a chocolate churro and we got a Mickey Mouse churro. Both of those were kind of meh. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm starting the, to think the, I don't like churros, purple. but... No, but churro... No, I've had churros in Spain and they're amazing. Okay, but we had the churro... The one of this rocket raccoon place or whatever near Splash Mountain in the Sunday was really good. Yeah. That entire Sunday thing was really good. It had these weird little orange flavored balls that were a bit of a... I would say, like, if you can get not get that, you're probably better off. Oh, yeah, I remember the old balls. I had, like, one spoonful of the sundae and one bite of the churro. Yeah. And and a cup of coffee. Yeah. It was good. It was really good. Oh, we also went to that uh, cafe that... Oh! Oh, my God. I remember now the um, uh, the, the, the curry uh, rice with, with cheese. Do you remember? We got it at the, the, the place near Splash Mountain. It has a... It was like the, uh, the au gratin... The Doria? Rice with... With, uh, what did cur- I have? Curry. I had something you had different. You had the same? Well, we, had, we split it. We did a half season on it. Yeah, but we had something else. And we had like chicken or something. It was just like fried chicken or something like that too. I don't remember. But yeah, I remember there was like, there's all these au gratin things that are really good. Yeah, that's we true. We tried a couple of them. Yeah. The Japanese word for it is doria. Yeah. But it's do- like au gratin. It's, it's basically it's rice with cheese and then generally something else in it, like a stew or yeah. a, a curry. And those are really good. And that, that place was really good near Splash Mountain, the one where you go inside the tree. And it's like you. We we sat actually. We're, we're Splash Mountain. We sat in that outdoor part. Where Splash right, Mountain it was, was Mama, Auntie, Grandma, Annie's or it's something. It's near Splash Mountain. It's the only real restaurant near Splash Mountain. Yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. It was, it was really, really good. good. It, it was. Really good. It was the. It wasn't table service though. It was. Yeah, but you could. It was just, like the fast food. I think type, the only table service one we did was the Blue, with Bayou. Blue Bayou. Yeah. Everything else we just sort of just grabbed it, grabbed and go. Yeah. You know. No, that place was really good. It was really nice. It was bigger than I thought it would be. Like you, you sort of go and you think, wow, you're never gonna get seats, but then there's like another floor. Yeah. That's in general it wasn't. And, and you get to wave at the people who've just gotten like soaked by Splash Mountain. Yeah, that was really fun, and people yeah. would wave, and you sit there, and yeah, everything. Like, that was a. And lot then when of... we went on Splash Mountain, we waved at those people. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, if you're in that area, that's. It's a great little place to get some food, and uh, you can get one of those r- raccoon uh, sundaes for dessert right afterwards. Yeah, it's true. It's right down the way from there. That's a that's a solid meal right there. Yeah. So, in general, that's a nice thing. A lot of the table service stuff, if you want to just try more things, is, again, do the halvesies, and you can just get, like, try the curry rice cheese thing, and then, you know, if you're still hungry, get something later. Like, there's always something to get. Some of the lineups can be long, though. Especially at your standard meal times, which is true of just yeah. about any Disney park. Yeah, but even popcorn lineups. Like, we saw churro and popcorn lineups that were, like, 10 or 15 minutes long. Didn't we eat somewhere near the Country Bear Jamboree at some point? That was that one. That was the one with the... That was that one? Curry, I think. No, yeah. no, because it was... I don't... We had six meals. We had three lunches and three dinners. Yeah, it's hard to remember all of them. Yeah. But that, that those those are the the memorable ones. It's funny because our favorite park is actually Tokyo Disney Sea, as far as the out of the two. Out of the two, absolutely. Out of the two, but yet you know the meals there. My absolute, Chris's absolute number one Disney park is Tokyo Disney Sea. Yeah. Mine is like slightly above Tokyo Disney Sea is Animal Kingdom in in Disney World in Florida. And then Tokyo Disney. And then Tokyo like seriously like they're they're neck and neck mm-hmm. but Animal Kingdom has animals. So. Disneyland is fun in Tokyo. It's it's one of the better of the sort of, you know, they call them castle parks. It's one of the better ones. It's got the Toontown. Well. Toontown was great. Toontown was a lot of fun. But I don't think we ate in Toontown. No. I don't think you can. Or maybe there might be a place to eat. I don't know. I don't know. But but um, in general, the the castle park's okay, but it's there are better like definitely Animal Kingdom. I like Epcot even more than the castle park at Tokyo Disney. I like Epcot better than any castle park. Yeah, but I would say it, I would say if you had, as far as the castle parks we've been to, that, it's not that I don't like the castle parks. Like no. you know, they my least the, favorite Disney park is still, still a Disney an park. awesome <laughs> Disney park. Yeah, but I would say that you know it's one of the better castle parks. It's probably close to the one in Florida. We haven't done Disneyland in California yet, so that could be better just because it's apparently got quite a bit. But 
but definitely Tokyo Disney Sea is like nothing else you'll ever see. Yeah, it's very. And unique. go there at night and during the holidays. Remember we went by the uh, the Cape Cod area and it was just lit. It was beautiful. Oh, I felt like I was in North America. Yeah, like in, on the Eastern Seaboard, just celebrating a Christmas. Yeah, it was amazing. You know? And it was a little bit chilly because we went in November. Yeah. And so which is nice for us. Little nip. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was nice for us because because people complain that it's it's winter and freezing here because it's gone down from like 37 to 34. Yeah. Celsius. Yeah, but it's like it's it's definitely Tokyo Disney Sea. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're only gonna do one park in your entire life, that is the park to do. Or Animal Kingdom. Or Animal Kingdom. Uh, the other thing to notice about Tokyo Disney, all I'm gonna say is if you've been to uh, Ireland, look for the causeway at Tokyo Disney Sea. It's a nice little hidden. Thing. The Giant's Causeway. The Giant's Causeway hidden at Tokyo Disney Sea. Yeah. That was an amazing find. Oh, we had that Mexican meal, didn't we? Over near the Indiana Jones ride? Didn't we go for Mexican or did we skip that? No, we did. We did go for There was like a Mexican type place. You're right. It was a dinner. Yeah. Our dinner, dinner at Tokyo Disney Sea was a. There was like a. It wasn't. It was sort of Mexican. It was like chicken and, or pork or something, like a pork chop or something. It was meat. It was like meat and vegetable type thing. I remember it being good. I just don't yeah, remember good. what I ate. You know what? There, was, there wasn't really bad food there. Yeah. It was all pretty good. They've really upped their game. Like last time when we went to Tokyo to see, it was okay. Yeah. But this is like all fairly good. But if you're not used to, like if you're looking for hamburgers and fries, you're actually going to have a pretty hard time. Well, they had. We just sort of avoided it. harder them. to find though. Like, and it's not like you find it at every corner. And no, not every no. place. Like, you're not going to find kids' meals with chicken McNuggets at every place. No. Like, you're going to... It's, it's, well, it's, most Japanese kids have never... Like, I would have to say that we were about... Like, we as in, like, not Japanese people made up about 0.2% of the guests at the park. Yeah, everybody I've heard ever, ever talked about this park, the first thing they say is, this park is not designed to sell to you. No. Like the foreigners. They do not want... Like, no. North Americans are not their audience they're welcoming to it and they they do their best but it's not your park the only reason we were actually able to buy tickets in advance was because i called them from overseas and i speak japanese yeah like the the customer service rep i got on the phone could not speak a word of english it was all japanese and buying tickets is hard for this buying park. tickets is really the hard the website is down probably 80 percent of the time yeah they do not take visa unless it's a visa card issued in Japan. You can only get which three is why day. I had to call. <laughs> you can buy packages for the park for five days, but you can if you're not staying at one of the three Disney hotels, you can only buy tickets for three days. Yeah. And uh, you can only get tickets. There's different packages, but generally the package you get is one day at one park, one day at another, and then a uh, park hopper. Yeah, the third day you can go between the two. And generally, you but have, if you and you, you have to know this, if you leave one park to go into another, your ticket is already marked as being used, so you have to get the hand. You stamp. have to get a hand stamp, and you have to announce your park when you're buying your tickets. Yeah, you have to pick your parks. Yeah, you have to pick your parks, and these parks are busy. We we went on weekdays and they were packed. Yeah. Weekends, weekdays in sort of a low season. Weekends, I understand, are absolute insanity. I have been on weekends. It's like insanity. I mean, they're very good about it, but like you know, you're gonna get very few rides. Fast passes are are paper fast passes, and, and like, they run out by noon. By noon, there are no fast passes in the park. Except for Space Mountain, they go up until about one thirty. Yeah. So, but generally, like if you're looking at like ah, it's four o'clock, let's we can get and, you. And won't fast find passes it. are very different there. They give out a ridiculous number of fast passes. So sometimes you're in the fast pass line for more than half an hour. And if you if you get a fast pass for something, you can't get another fast pass for two hours. It or says so. on your ticket. It says yeah, when, you, when you can get. Yeah, your read your ticket pass. when you get your fast pass because that'll help you a lot about when you can get your next one. This is turning into a Disney podcast rather than a food one. It is, but. In, but it's all good advice. Yeah, it's all good advice, and you know what? It's it's a fun place. Definitely give it a try, and the food is definitely fun. Yeah, the food is totally fun. The food is totally fun, and you'll have a great time. And if you're willing to be a little bit, you know, uh, daring with your, your stuff. Also, like, snacks, like cookies and stuff like that. Like, they have all kinds of the, the Japanese-style cookie boxes with Mickey characters and stuff on them and everything like that. So if you're looking for, like, a tin for cookies, you're going to find something. You'll find something great. We have a fun cookie tin that had about, what, 
six cookies in it, but we use it for tea. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if you want that kind of thing, like little home furnishing, home stuff, you can buy snacks that will give you, like, great little tins and stuff like that. Like, you'll really, you're, you're, you're spoiled for choice for that sort of thing. That's there. true. And lots of neat little weird cookies, like, you know, shaped like Mickey and characters. And, and very Japanese. It's very, very, very Japanese. And if you like Duffy, you're in heaven. <laughs> yeah. They so, love Duffy there. They love Duffy, and there's lots and of Duffy, Duffy snacks. And Duffy and Stella May or whoever, and Bunny, Bunny Lou, mm-hmm. and the funny little Italian frog or something. Jelly, Jelly Low or something. Gelati- gelatini. Gelatino. Duffy and Friends, there's like... Yeah. Yeah. And there's lots of snacks themed to them, too, so, you know, it's... Uh, I heard somebody who, who went, I was, I was listening to another podcast, and they were talking about it, and they said, if I had stayed at Disney for two more days, I would have started to like Duffy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if I had stayed for two more days, I would have started to hate Duffy. Yeah. But it's, it's a lot of fun, and definitely worth going, and it's, it's, it's a great way. And Christmas, is a, it's a really cool way. It seems like a weird time to, 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 be, to be for Christmas, but they actually do it really well. Yeah, they do. You know, I really felt the Christmas spirit. But they, did, they had a lot of extra shows on in, the, in Disney Sea. In the lake area, so they shut down the Venetian boat ride, like every hour. Yeah, basically, it was just... yeah, the half of half of every hour, the boats weren't running because they always had so many Christmas shows going on in the lakes. Yeah. So, but you know, it's 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 fun. And, but it's still worth doing the boat. Yeah, and it, it's definitely it feels very festive. And quite frankly, winter is the time to do the boat because in summer you're going to end up with like parasols poking you in the eye. Yeah. Yeah. So. You're not shy with the parasols in Japan. Yeah, it was a good time to go it was temp- for temperature. It's also good for food because you, you're not, like, you can have some of the warmer food and you don't feel like you're going to explode. Yeah. And they have pretty decent coffee. And iced tea was really good. And you can get unsweetened iced tea. Yeah. And uh, they have little packages of lemon. So you can add oh, lemon into yeah, your... Oh, yeah, little... If, pa- little if you want like lemon, little, you can add like lemon. Like little ketchup packs. Of lemon, yeah. I used to get the... I like the, I, 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 like, I like a little lemon and it was kind of neat that I could just put it in myself. Yeah. And as much as I wanted, I could have two or three packs. <gasps> don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Okay. I don't remember any more food. I think that's pretty good. I, I think I, we gave it a glowing recommendation. Yeah. Darth Vader mochi. Yum. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. So, thanks for listening to another episode of Junk Food on the Road. This time was Tokyo Disney Resort in Japan. At Christmas. At Christmas, for sure. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, uh, as always, you can follow us... Uh, at Candy Critic on Twitter, or go to CandyCritic.org and find links to all of our other social media. Uh, you can follow us, also follow us on Patreon, and you get a whole bunch of stuff in advance. And uh, we do a special video every Friday, and all kinds of cool stuff like that, and discounts on T-shirts. Um, you can go to our go to Patreon.com/CandyCritic, and uh, you know it's uh, it's great to hear from you guys. And uh, we're doing a whole bunch of updates on the site, so make sure to you know keep an eye out for that when we get it done and we're gonna have previews for it for our patron for our patrons as well we get to see the site before everybody else so thanks for listening we'll see you next time bye bye Thank you.